Persona 5 Strikers is out in February and we're going to live stream it on release. If you watch this video past the trailer reaction, I will be discussing things that are in Persona 5 Royale. I know the timelines are a little bit different, but be warned, there are going to be Persona 5 Royale spoilers at the end of this video. So, you've been warned. <laughs> Kick it? This is our chance. Wipe them out. Let's do this. Persona. It's DMC. The jail looks like Shibuya, but the layout isn't exactly the same. She came out of a giant box. If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. A skateboard. In all of the various jails across the country, I can sense the energies of powerful shadows. We're set! Oh, we're taking the fan thieves to a whole new level. Alright, the one thing that I really like is that Yusuke is basically Virgil in this one. Uh, I don't know if Joker takes the whole Dante thing. He does use his guns, but I don't know. I don't know. He uses a knife instead, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it's basically Persona DMC. Like, it's it's an animated DMC. And yeah, that's cool. That's cool. I'm all for hack and slash and good fun. As long as they'll let me play the different characters, that's cool. I know, they did a little showcase with different characters being played. But as long as I'm able to switch it up and play whichever characters I want, that's fun. Because I like to have a little bit of variety. It's either going to be everyone gets their own route, or you can just pick whichever character you want to play. What would be really cool is if there was ever a multiplayer function. I don't think they're going to do that in this game. You guys probably already know because this already came out of Scrabble in Japan and I've never seen it and know nothing about it. But that would be a really cool feature if it's a hack and slash and you can multiplayer game. You know like those old school games you used to play on PC back like 10 years ago? You know those 2.5D hack and slash ones that were similar to Diablo? That'd be a cool thing. But I'm not going to be picky. I'm going to play it solo. I know it says PlayStation 4, I'm hoping that if you play it on the PlayStation 5 it gets a slight graphical update because I do know they're going to be releasing this on PC and Switch, I believe on launch, but it would be nice if the PlayStation 5 version could be played in 4K, 60fps, because that would be nice. If not, it's just gonna be like a stretched out 1080p, which, I mean, I know PlayStation 4 Pro can do 4K, so... There's no sort of reason they don't make this in 4K. I mean, it's not going to be that graphic intensive. It's... They're probably using vectors, right? So they just need to stretch it a bit as long as the ratio is fine, right? It's... I don't know. I'm not an animator, but... Yeah, looks fun. Looks fun. Looks fun. I don't know what it is storyline-wise. Because personally, I would have liked a continuation of the Royale timeline. Because you have that whole Maruki little bit of, you know, a catchy thing, and then you've also got Kasumi, and that leaves a potential door open for possibilities because you've got these different timelines that were in play, and that door's sort of opened, whereas the Persona 5 timeline is a little more linear, so it would be really cool if it was a little more of a spin-off, like it goes on a tangent and a certain point, someone does something and then after Maruki, not everything goes back to the original timeline, but something happens or someone from some timeline does something and as a result you get strikers. Fortunately, I don't think that's going to be the case because this is probably just like the English version of Scrabble, but that being said, it opens up the possibility for a Royale version of this game in the future, which could be a re-release as a special edition like they did with Royale, or they could just do it as a DLC bonus feature. I don't know. Either way, I wouldn't mind it, mainly because I like the banter between the Phantom Thieves. That's most of the fun for me, the banter. I mean, the gameplay itself, yeah, it's kind of addictive in that, yeah, you're getting strikes, aha, uh -huh, you're winning, yeah, awesome endorphin hit. But it's more so the interaction of the characters which I enjoyed more so than the gameplay. The game of Persona was always for me more so the story and the banter rather than the gameplay. The gameplay was fun, but the gameplay for me was more of a break in between story segments to sort of give me something to do and give my mind a little bit of a break. Like you would think, and have a strategy for the boss fights, 
But when you're going from A to B, you know, in the palace and the missions and stuff, let's face it, you don't have to think very much. It lets you sort of think about what you just saw and what's going on in the story, and which is awesome for anyone doing an LP or live stream because you can discuss with people, whereas the story segments are very sort of condensed. You know, they're very... Well, condensed is a good word. They're very heavy, so it takes a little while to digest what's going on. Which, again, is really fun. And everything in between is just fun fluff and fan service, which, again, is always fun. And then you've got all the um, free time events. <sighs> I call them free time, confidant. Man, in one game they're supports, in another game they're free time, in this one they're confidants. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's fun. That's fun. Because it just, it just it's, a, it's an excellent world building thing. I, I had a lot of fun with Persona 5. Being my first Persona game, it's been a very good experience. So I'm, I'm very open to playing other ones. I'd like to first sort of wrap up the Persona 5 story with you know obviously strikers possibly watching the anime and then sort of watching any of those videos and memes and then once i wrap up persona 5 then i'm going to be more open to moving on to another persona i heard i don't know whether it's a rumor or, or if it's official that there might be a persona 6 coming out i don't know i mean apparently according to people with every new generation of playstation console a new persona came out you know starting with playstation 1 then playstation 2 playstation 3 playstation 4 i believe PSP or Vita had Persona 4 Golden. Vita was Persona 4 Golden, apparently. Um, and given the PlayStation 5's come out, that sort of meant that a new generation of Persona makes sense because apparently it's huge in Japan and it's coming mainstream in you know the West. So, I mean, they'd be stupid not to make a Persona 6. <laughs> It'd be fucking stupid not to. I mean, you could do it uh, at the same sort of thing as you do the remakes, right? You make a Persona 6, and then in the meantime, you also have resources dedicated to doing remakes of like Persona 4, Persona 3, Persona 1, Persona 2. You have the IP, right? You have the assets, you have the studio, and it's making money. I mean, from what I've seen on the Steam sales for Persona 4 Golden, it's more than justified to do a remake, because... You know what I mean? It's it's profitable. So from a business standpoint, you'd be stupid not to do it. You should do it. It's a little bit how um, Square Enix was sitting on Final Fantasy VII for all those years. You know the meme? It was like, if everything goes to shit, remake Final Fantasy VII and you're safe. Um, like it, it was the same thing with Activision Blizzard. It was like, if things go to shit, just revive um, World of Warcraft Vanilla. Or, you know, remake World of Warcraft... Uh, sorry, Warcraft 3, which they managed to fuck up gloriously you know, bravo, but you get what I mean. So that would be fun. I mean, it's good for people like me because say me trying to play a PlayStation 1 game, not only is it difficult accessibility wise because, well, I gotta get my, well, I've got a PlayStation 2, but I gotta get my hands on an English version of Persona 1, 2 or 3, which, you know, difficult as it is, but also on the practical standpoint because you're not technically allowed to live stream pirated stuff but I can't just go to a local game store and just buy it. So it kind of creates the difficulty. So a remake is great for people like me because I could experience it with up-to-date graphics, you know, with redone music, any sort of glitches or gameplay mechanics or mistakes that were there during release can be ironed out. Even possible improvements, like that works well for me. It's a lot easier for me to play a game that's remade rather than like we did with say MGS Twin Snakes. I had to get the, what, what was I using? I was using a Wii. And then from the Wii, I had to have a converter from, you know, like the Wii plug that was, um, oh, what was it going into? It was going in a plug that doesn't actually exist in computers and, mon and mon modern monitors anymore. It had to go into a converter to go into HDMI. But because the HDMI had like the anti-piracy crap, I had to put it in the video splitter. And then from the video splitter, I needed to put it in the capture card so, you know, it could be read. But because it's only the video into the capture card, I had to have like a separate splitter which would split the audio and the video. And then they would both have to go in different cables in the computer. And then I'd have to sync them, you know, so they are basically in the same real time, otherwise they're just out of sync. Um, and then at the same time, I have to be able to listen to it. So I had like two cables sticking out of one cable with one cable going into the computer and just, just, just give me a remake. Make my life easy, please. <laughs> I'm totally open to it. I'm totally open to it, but it's just, it's just also a matter of hassle, you know? There's a lot of fucking around in some of this old tech. As much as I would love to just get an emulator and play it, there is like this, I think, rule that if you're caught playing emulated or pirated games, you could 
not only you know get in trouble for it but you could i think get terminated for it which kind of sucks but ah. all right just to answer me this question then if you were to recommend someone that enjoyed persona 5 royale a persona game which one would you recommend i'm not asking which one is the best or which one is your personal favorite i'm asking which one would you recommend knowing what you know which is that i played persona 5 royale and i enjoyed which one would you recommend i've had people recommending me persona 4 golden and i've also had people recommending me persona 3. so i'm asking you which one would you recommend and it's completely fine to recommend one two or none of them, or all of them, or say they're all equal, just let me know, which one would you recommend? I'm actually curious, I want to see what people think. Because there's a little bit of bubble of people that are there in the live streams, and they might have one point of view, and then there's a lot of people that might not be able to make the live streams that watch the replays, they might have a completely different point of view. So, let me know which one you think is good, let me know which one you would recommend, and let's see how we go from there. But, first things first, we're going to play Persona 5 Strikers, uh, we're possibly going to watch the Persona 5 anime shortly after that. I'm still editing out the highlights and the meme reaction from Persona 5 Royale. And then after that, we can possibly play another Persona game. So please, recommend which one you think is good to play. Alright. <laughs> anyway, so, without going all over the place and talking too long, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Uh, check out the Twitch channel as well if you want to join us on the weekend live streams. And there is also a reaction channel if you want to watch some reaction videos. All the links are in the description. And I'm going to go hang out on Discord now. Which is where I hang out when I'm not live streaming on doing video editing. So, till next time, Ninja come out. Bye. I'm running on empty, man. Behold, Whoa. a saucy, zesty masterpiece. Ain't nothing better than this. <laughs> Get out, dumbass! Here you go! My tree! Yeah. Yes! It's all good! Yes.